Hi. <laughs> How are you? Yeah, I'm doing well. Are you you're in New York now? Yeah. Uh, yes, I, I'm in. Uh, I haven't left my house in uh, three weeks. It's not a bad situation I'm in because I live in a in a house with a garden, and I have quite a lot of space. So that's where we are at. But, and how do you feel? Um, you know, I, I it, it goes through a few waves. I think that you have these two sides. There's this anxiety about what is this going to bring yeah, yeah, yeah. In the future, yeah. and then on the other hand, um, you know, there is like this. There's just nothing anymore. So you just it, it becomes really quiet. Uh, and inside, it becomes also really quiet, and you really focus on on your loved ones and and all the details that that are part of that. You know, so my daughter um, turned four just when this was about to happen, so we had to cancel her birthday party. So then I have a kind of a a marker in time almost. Now I'm with her every day and I it's it's really silly to say, but I've never spent so much time with her since she was born. It's kind of beautiful and uh, to, to 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 find out that these things find a way by itself and that your child is so kind of a source of inspiration because she is she just lives in the moment and, yeah, and yeah, yeah. takes you know it's, it's not that maybe she wonders okay why can I not go outside you explain to her but then that's what it you know a child just accepts she just takes it yeah I also really appreciate those moments and uh, you know we made our little rituals ourselves like on Saturday we make a restaurant so we get dressed up beautifully (laughs) and um, and, um, Luna and me we decorate the table and then we get and we get dressed up, and then Vincent is is the cook, and then he closes the doors of the restaurant, and we come downstairs, we knock on the door of the restaurant, and we have like a, a three-course meal, and, uh, <laughs> and we play roles. It's it's very cute. <laughs> and, yeah. and then we dance in between the meals. And, um, so it's kind of, it sounds like a new family life that has been given to you somehow. Um, in all this horror. Yeah, uh, absolutely. I mean, also, I think for her, I mean, she never had to challenge herself in that sense that much to kind of um, keep herself busy. But now, you know, you, you we also ask her from her to just keep herself yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. And what is it uh, like for the both of you as artists living together and 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 now actually sharing so much time together also or is that something that you used to with him yeah that that's not something you know that i mean we were always we're always i mean also when luna was going to school we were often together as well and yeah and does that bring you something new in your in your artistic um vocabulary maybe or in the way you the two of you develop new work or are you I don't know. Are you still working? That's a good question, maybe. Yeah. Well, um, despite the fact that, I mean, I asked Luna to, you know, take care, do play by herself. It's not, I don't have so much time to, you know, maybe I have time, but not the focus, really. Because there's always someone asking you to either tie this ribbon or... I don't know <laughs> what what does this mean or something like that. So I find it hard to focus. And I started studying. So after um, um, there's the there she is. Yeah, Mona. Hey, yes, hello. Yeah. Hi. Hi. <laughs> hey. Hello. Wil je wat vertellen of niet? Nee, niet zo vertellen. Ja, wat wil je vertellen? Ik kan ergens. En ik wil de show something. En ik wil de show something. Wat wil je de show? Oké. 
Oh, wow. A snail. Did you see snails in the garden? Yes. Yeah. Luna sings sings to the snail. Oh, what do they do when you sing? They they come out their their houses on their back. Wow. That's a magic power you have. Yeah. Okay. That's it. Yeah. Okay. Bye-bye. Okay. Where were we? Like like this. Yeah. If yeah. someone comes to shoot you a snail. Uh, yeah. So I mean, um, and no, I said like I started to study, but um, it's quite hard to be, to concentrate on that. But I try to make you know at least an hour a day to focus on studying, and then you know I I to dedicate some time to writing. But that's about it at the moment. Are you um, annoyed that you can't have this kind of workspace or are you actually because it also sounds like you're quite enjoying the family life for now and that you know work will come when the world starts again um you know i think we all don't know what life will be in i mean how long this will last and how life will be afterwards and if i still want the same things i don't know you know i I think it's transformative in a way yeah, I think this is a moment for all of us to to just um, stop for a moment and reflect. I don't know if all of this ends, um, you know, you know what my what my position is. What, what where do I want to go from there? And maybe this situation is also asking us to. Yeah, it is asking us to deeply reflect on our lifestyle, on the way we've been consuming, on just our life's choices. We've been living this life for so long, maybe in a in a kind of dream, in a thoughtless state. We were all part of it, and and now you know, it's kind of a you know a lesson where we have we have to learn a lesson, and I think. if it will only last a couple of weeks, it's not enough. <laughs> it's like almost like when you meditate, you go inside and you, be, you know, you force yourself to be silent and quiet. With that, you come to realize certain things, and maybe it's that, like you take away all the other things that are around you and what is, what stays, what remains, what is important to us. And I think those kind of things are. Are, at this moment in time, they're showing us like what is really important. Maybe one of those things is family. One of those things is friendship and love. Uh, yeah. And uh, if you can, if you have that luxury, you know, if you have your health, and if you, like I say, I don't, I don't personally have to worry about the next, you know, rent that's coming up. But if you do, it's of course a whole other situation. Yeah, um, we're privileged in a way that we can, yeah. that we yeah. have time and space to experience this kind of stillness yeah. instead of having extra worries. Um, How do you feel about um, like the fashion industry? What is your view on that now? It, it could be a chance to change. It yeah. could be a chance to reconsider like do we need that many seasons? Do we need um, models flying in from all over the world? Do we need... Uh, or can we also think about more local and, and environmental friendly ways of producing? I mean, what I don't hope is that this is just a break and after everything goes back to normal, including uh, polluting the planet more and, and damaging the planet. You know, it, if you if you hear hear how the air has cleaned up everywhere, how uh, dolphins in Venice, like, you know, that's... That's such amazing news in a way, but it won't last if we go back to the old system. No. Yeah. So that's yeah. the question, I think, also for the fashion industry. Like, how, how do we want to... Can, can this be a momentum to change to an, an actual sustainable fashion mm-hmm. industry? Mm-hmm. But I don't have the answer. I wish I could be like, Saskia, it's going to happen. <laughs> but, yeah. I think none of us have. But... 
that's what I say. Like when we come out of this, also, I mean, as a model, you know, we have to question ourselves too. Like, is this how we want to continue? And what did we learn from this experience? And you know, none of us is working at this moment. I mean, what you know, what do we learn from that? And do you? Is there something? I mean. Maybe it's also too early to say, but is there something that you now being in this in, in your current team that you don't miss? I mean, I haven't experienced a, a daily rhythm like I have now in, in, in years. I mean I've been I've been working for ten years and um, also when Luna was born I didn't really take a long break. So I've never experienced just like doing the same things almost every day that's like totally new for me and I I think it's very healthy <laughs> to have, have that I mean that actually you know the kind of uh, the pace of life and the rhythm we have as models is not natural and it's not healthy and and it can be a cause for a lot of stress sometimes and you're constantly in other time zones and um, you know, adapting to new situations, which you, you know, you, it's fine. You get used to it, and it, and it's, and it's also a fun part of it. You know, leaving again with your little suitcase and being in new places. Of course, it's there is a very nice side to that. But experiencing like being in the same place, that is pretty new to me, <laughs> and I, I enjoy that very much. A routine is is a very valuable thing. Yeah, it's very natural and like as models we just don't get to experience that a lot. Maybe the longer this will last, the more I will, you know, find my own way of, you know, finding the Yeah, your family is thinking and you know, there there's there's little moments that you get to have for yourself, like the yeah. rhythm will come with it. Yeah. So, yeah. It's starting to rain. <laughs> oh. So I'm gonna go inside. But yeah. Okay. Thank okay, you. Okay. And okay. and uh, I hope to to talk to you soon and like yeah. get what you're doing. Thank you, Martha. Okay. I'll write you a letter. Okay. Yeah. Waiting for that. <laughs> okay. Bye. Bye.